It's high school football on a Friday night, and a beautiful Friday night it is. Game time temperature at 70 with a calm wind, a cloudy overcast, and a perfect night as we kick off the 2024 season. Fighting some uh, technical difficulties tonight. We'll go with plan B or plan C in the operations, but allow some time. Katie Jeter, our board operator, will get us up and running with our KDY Sports Booster Club members. And we'll have exciting high school football action on the radio for you tonight. As Marysville opens the official season, Jamborees last week for high school teams in Kansas, but we call this the kickoff of the 2024 campaign as each team comes in with a 0-0 mark. Marysville and Nemo Hall Central meeting for the first time in a decade for Friday Night Lights here on KNDY, AM 1570 FM, 94.1, KNDYradio.com. And on our free mobile app as well, it's high school football action. Marysville Bulldogs live on Key and DY. We'll come right back. Marysville, do you have any suggestions for a nice place? I've heard that Heritage Inn Express is the best place in town. They have free breakfast and large rooms to accommodate the whole family. Plus, you can bring your pets with you. Wow, really? I can bring my pets with me? I was hoping that I didn't have to leave them at home. Heritage Inn Express sounds like the perfect package for a whole family. You can go see them at 1155 Pony Express Highway, Marysville, Kansas, or give them a call at 785-562-5588. Dr. Brittany here with Marysville Dental Care, where your family's health is our top priority. Dr. Zach, our team, and I are the family dental home you've always been looking for. Our comprehensive dental care is designed to serve all of your dental needs, whether it's a routine cleaning, braces, or cosmetic work, we provide the highest quality of care with a comfortable experience. Visit our office across from the Marysville Courthouse or go to marysvilledentalcare.com to schedule a visit. Have the smile you've always wanted with our team by your side. I'm Liz Warren, your Marysville Edward Jones financial advisor. We're all about financial investments, but we also value the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That is why Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of Marysville Bulldog Athletics on KNDY. Call 785-562-5533 today or visit edwardjones.com for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, member SIPC. The Marysville High School Alumni Association would like to invite past, present, and future Bulldogs to our first annual Bulldog Family Reunion on Friday, September 27th from 8 p.m. until midnight at Venue 36. This is class of 1988 alum Kim Green. Join us for food, drinks, and a great way to make some memories. So don't forget to mark your calendars September 27th for the first annual Bulldog Family Reunion. Look for information on the Marysville High School Alumni Association Facebook page. And again, welcome back. Bruce Dierick and Brian Crock as we kick off the 2024 high school football season. It's Marysville at Nemo Hall Central. And if we will, a very special night for us tonight as we lost a friend earlier this year. Jason Brenniger has been with me on the road every Friday night for the last 10 plus years and passed away unexpectedly. A very dear friend and a family at KNDY and family to all the Bulldog fans out there. With that, a brief, brief moment of silence and then a short tribute to our lost friend. Rest in peace, Jason. Jason Brenniger, it's a brand new season. Our first night out, week two of the season, right? Yeah, I missed a week ago, and I was talking with my junior high kids earlier today and realizing that uh, I think when I started doing this, they weren't born. Wow. So it's been a while since I've been up here. Um, but uh, And if you've been listening over the years, you know I'm a big fan of the pomp and circumstance of high school football. And it's been a, almost a year since it's happened for me. And just seeing that band out there in the crowd, and as you mentioned, the, it's just a chamber of commerce day out there. Beautiful, beautiful evening for football. And here we are. Losing begets losing, winning begets winning. And when you are used to playing in a state championship game, you want that feeling and that excitement again and again. And those underclassmen that were a part of that don't want anything short of that in their senior season. 
And we'll talk about seniors. Marysville lost a handful last year. It was my daughter's class, 2023, and a great group of seniors that many graduated. But we look at these uh, kids filling in the shoes, so to speak. They're ready to step up to the challenge. There are, and a couple of them did a week ago. Dakota Slupionic and Will Todd being the two uh, that stand out first and foremost, and they're both juniors. And then the sophomore, Grant Hayfley, was the other one that put some offensive production together. So not only do you have that production on the football field in week one, some kids putting up some pretty good numbers, they're underclassmen. So you can look forward not just to 2023 football season, but what's Marysville future football going to look like and, and see who those stars might become. And again, a tribute to a great friend, a long-time Bulldog supporter. Jason, we love you. High school football tonight, the show must go on. And again, a picture-perfect evening. 70, no wind, a cloudy overcast, and a good crowd building. Obviously, a partisan home crowd, attired in purple on the near side. Fair share of Marysville folks in red and black across the way. Shortest road trip of the season for Marysville. In a reuniting of two teams that were great rivals. 10 plus years ago when it was the Nemaha Valley Raiders. They are now Nemaha Central Thunder consolidating with B&B as the Falcons came over from Baileyville. And they have put up a great tradition over the many years in football, in basketball, in the many sports and in football under Michael Glotzik, now 33 and three coming into his fourth season. They have two times won the state two a championship. They have won 26 straight and will host a Marysville team with a three-win season last year. Fourth-year coach Tony Trimble comes via Valley Heights and a year stint at Hutchinson, looking to turn the tide this year to a winning season for these Marysville Bulldogs, kicking off at Nemo Hall Central. Back with tonight's high school broadcast, it's live on Candy Y. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery, making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Tires aren't all the same, and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich Tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Season opener for these two teams on a busy weekend for Falapas at our broadcast. Max and Quentin Blasky with Valley Heights hosting Centralia on FM 95.5. Kansas State's an 11 o'clock kick right here tomorrow. Kansas, a 6 o'clock kick on our sister station, FM 95.5. North South Field, Marysville will kick off. Nemo Hall Central will receive. Marysville defending the South Goal. Nemo Hall Central on their home turf defending the North Goal. Marysville white tops, black trousers, red and black helmets and trim. Purple for Nemo Hall Central. The Thunder with white helmets. Nemo Hall Central and Marysville. It's Bulldog football. A 2024 campaign kickoff. Here's Brian Crock. Here's your kickoff. We are underway. Kickoff's going to actually go into the end zone. A great kick for Dakota Slupionic. Touchback. Back to receive was Caleb Strothman and also Carter Hike for Thunder Football. Carter Hike, you're going to hear his name nonstop tonight. He is one of the best football players in Kansas in all classes. He was the two-way offensive player of the year last year, and he was the two-way defensive player of the year who was not a senior. Nima Central, they'll start off at their own 20. Carter Hike and shotgun. He's going to run the ball right up the gut. Not much doing. Maybe two yards right out of the gate for Carter Hike. Yeah, Hike's a junior. He's the uh, nonstop conversation piece here, but he's got a good supporting cast. They lost some bulk on the line last year. Holden Bass comes to mind, Kansas State. And they've got some replacements that are going to learn their way as starters here tonight. But a good nucleus back from a team that has won 26 straight. 
trips to the far side, twin receivers this side. It's a handoff to Caleb Strothman, who is in motion. He's near the first down line. Oh, ball's out, and I think Marysville's on it. Ball is out in Marysville football. Caleb Strothman fumbles the ball. Second play from scrimmage. He almost had the first down. He would have had the first down, but it coughs it up there at the 30-yard line. So talk about a big bulldog break. First possession at the opposition 30. So Marysville's offense takes the field a lot sooner than we ex- had expected. Will Otot, he's a senior this year. He's been running this offense for quite a while, uh, all of all of last year, and he even had a few snaps the year before that. He's going to go under center, I believe. Yep. Wing backs to both sides and a tailback behind him. Fake to the first man. Will keeps it himself. He's going to fall forward up to the 26. See where they officially spot it. Oh, near the 25 for a five-yard gain on first down. Yeah, I like that. Uh, they went to the big man on the fake. But uh, Will Otot, who was their lead rusher last year, uh, he scampers four yards first down, and the Bulldogs have got the season underway. Second in a long five. Slupionic right behind Will Otot. He gets the snap, fakes it again, and Slupionic keeps it. He's, it's going to be a first down for Will Otot on a six-yard run. Yeah, same play, and you'll notice that under the Tony Trimble helm, uh, not a lot of variety at times, but it pays off with double-digit gains on the first two carries combined. It's into the Raider, or should say Raider. I've been here too long. It's into the Thunder territory. They were the Raiders the last time I called a game here. Thunder territory. Call it the 18-yard line. At 12 yards already on the ground for Will Otot. Like Bruce just said, only two plays in. Marysville's going to move a lot slower than Nima Central. Ten minutes to go here in the first quarter. Will Otot under center. This time it's going to be a handoff to the big man, Slupionic. He's going to fall forward all the way up to inside the 15. Give him three. Dakota Slupionic, he's a 6'1", 240-pound senior, listed in the book as the fullback. He is the lone back. Didn't have a chance to do the starters. We had some technical issues. Verizon, not a very good signal. Nothing said over here at Seneca, but I appreciate the fact we've got an alternate plan B and we're live on the air. Marysville in their traditional formation. Man in motion. Will Oton hands it off to Slupionic. Going to get maybe two yards. Third and four coming up. I want to talk about the linemen since we didn't have the starters. Carter Wassenberg, six foot one ninety five, a junior. Alex Shale, six foot two twenty, a junior. Brett Wurtenberger, five ten, two hundred pounds, and a senior. Ashton Schaefer, two seventy five, and a senior. Brock Promy, five ten, two hundred five, and a senior. Line going to help out that big bruising Dakota Slupionic on those runs up the middle. Will Otot making sure everybody's lined up properly. And there's a flag, maybe some illegal procedure, and it is. So what was going to be third and four is now going to be third and ten, and these, those types of penalties are usually drive killers. The rest of the lineup for Marysville at quarterback, obviously, is Willow Tot. Halfback is Grant Hafley, 5'11", 170, a junior. At fullback, Dakota Slupionic, I mentioned a six foot, 240-pound senior. And a running back, Cameron Witters, 5'10", 182, and a junior. Marysville trying to capitalize on this early turnover for Nemo Central. Third and 10. It's a pitch late. We've got the edge. I believe that's Wetter. He's going to be in for a first down inside the five. Not in for a touchdown, but first down inside the five. First and goal, Marysville. Cam Wetter, junior. Just when they were watching things up the middle. He makes the sweep on the far side, takes it to the sideline. It's first and goal to go. Just traditional Trimble football. If you've watched Valley Heights or Marysville, it's the traditional triple option is what I call it. But fake to the fullback, act like your quarterback's going to turn up field. Instead, he pitches it late. Wetter got the edge. Great first down or third and long play. First and goal. Hand off to Slupionic. Maybe a yard. 
look at him fighting up the middle. He stood, he stood, he had defenders right, left, and up the center. He stood, made the short gain. Bulldogs not far away from first strike here tonight. Yeah, the 26-0 and over the last two seasons, Nemaha Central Thunder probably haven't seen a whole lot of deficits. Uh, Marysville hasn't scored yet, but second in goal from the four. Will Otot under center. Man in motion. It's a quarterback keeper. He dives. He's going to get up to about the one, maybe even inside. Nope, they're, they're going to say a one-yard line. He didn't quite get in. Third and goal from the one. There again, you got that O-line making the push ahead. They're looking tight here tonight. If they can push this into the end zone, what a great confidence builder. The middle official back judge moved the football back to the two, so I was off by a yard. Uh, we learned last night that the uh, that an overgrown toenail could be the difference of a win and a loss, and so uh, don't don't want to call a one y- a two yard a one yard. Will Otas got the ball. I think he handed it off to Dakota Slupiana, who rolls into the end zone. No, it's Will Otas with the keeper for a touchdown. Touchdown, Marysville. Yeah, I'd have called it too. A great fake up the middle. The push up the middle to the end zone. Bulldogs strike first. Just under seven minutes to play, opening quarter, first game of the season. Jamboree for both teams last season gave them some exposure. But this is the real deal tonight as we kick off the 2024 campaign. Marysville will go for the two-point conversion. Early Bulldog lead, Otan under center. And a whistle on the near side. Here's a flag, second penalty flag so far tonight. Another procedure call going to push the Bulldogs back five yards. Well, you stay with the dude. Pull a kicker in there for the extra point. I'm not sure what they've got. Go to Slupionic is lined up as the kicker. Preliminary report. I don't know what they'll call. Again, second penalty against the Bulldogs. Both procedure calls. Marysville changing their lineup a little bit, but it still looks like an offense out there on the field. So instead of two-point try... From the three, it's going to be a two-point try from the eight. 6-0 Marysville, 6.59 to go. It's a pass. Will Otot rolls out, throws it into the end zone. I, I think he caught it. It should have been intercepted, but the Marysville off, offense, Grant Hayfley pulls it away from Nemaw Central. 8-0 Marysville. Yeah, that was a great pass and a great catch. Uh, Will Otot is a junior. There's 41 passes last year. You don't see a lot of passing from this young man insofar as his career has been. But a big one tonight has the extra point overcoming the penalty. And with 6.59 to play here in the first, we'll take time out. Marysville leads by an 8 nothing score at Nemo Hall Central. Since 1976, Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions has been your farm and home marketing team. Let the experienced family team of Tom and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you when buying or selling a home or farmland. Delivering timely, honest, and professional guidance, visit olmsteadrealestate.com to view current listings and auctions. Your farm and home marketing team is Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions. Lots of new trucks at the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville include a pair of 24 Chevy Silverado 2500 model Z71 package, a 24 Silverado 1500 model Trail Boss, and a 1500 model LTZ71 package. They have a 24 Silverado work truck and a 24 Colorado four-wheel drive work truck at the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville. Welcome back to Nemaha Central, where the Marysville Bulldogs, who kicked off to the Thunder first, have scored first 8-0 to zero over Nemaha Central. Here's your kickoff. It's going to be Carter Hike picking it up at about the 14. He runs up to the 30. He's making guys miss. He gets past the 40. He's going to be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That's where Nemaha Central will start their second drive, about to run their third play. One for Grant Hayfley and Brody Lawrence teaming up to bring Hyatt down. He is tremendous. I mean, that's what you hear about from the junior. He dances out there like you've never seen, and it was a duo for Marysville that finally brought him down at the 45-yard line. 
Dakota Slavionic's first kickoff went into the end zone might be the better plan for the day is try to keep it away from Carter Hike. First and 10, Mima Central. Hike in shotgun. Fakes it to the man in motion. Big hole up the middle. He's crossing midfield up to the Marysville 39-yard line. It's almost as if he anticipates those defenders who come at him, and he just hurdles them. He straddles them. He just keeps the legs pumping, and a big yardage gain brings him into Bulldog territory. First time tonight. This is their second possession. They're just inside the MHS 40. 8-0 to zero Marysville. As Bruce said, still here halfway through the first quarter. Carter Hike with a 16-yard run there. First down, Nemaha Central. Hike gets the shotgun snap. Running option away. Marysville defending it really well. Brings him down deep in the backfield. Lots of at least four, maybe five. Yeah, that was a nice tackle. A beautiful solo tackle. Caught him on the backside. He was looking to the west. Runner came in from behind. The defense caught him. Four loss. So the big question marks for Nemaha Central were there was their offensive line. They they graduated a bunch of their linemen last year. Uh, they once again they were state champions last year. They were state champions the year before, and they were undefeated in both seasons. So their their offensive line was experienced and they were strong. That's their question mark here this year, and clearly already been an issue. Looks like maybe a false start. It is. Yeah, you talk about the line, and I don't see the bulk out there that we've always heard from Nima Hall Central. They, they traditionally raise big farm boys over here. They don't maybe see the size up there. They don't have them listed on the roster as far as height and weight. And just like on cue, we're talking about the offensive linemen, and they, they jump for a full start. Second and 20 now for Nima Hall Central. Carter Hikes throws it our direction. It's caught. He's going to go for five yards. That is Jaden Sykes receiving it. Carter Hike does not throw the ball as much, not as many uh, touchdowns or as many throws last year as runs, but great pass there. Jaden Sykes, junior, kinfolk to Warren Sykes, longtime AD over here at uh, Newball Hall Central, is not currently, but uh, Warren Sykes is his granddad. Third and 15 now after the five yard pass. And catch. Carter Height gets the shotgun. He's going to keep it up the middle. And Wetter brings him down right, right at what? Maybe a one yard gain. I was going to say right at the line of scrimmage. He got a one yard gain. Wetter was the spy, knew exactly where he was going. Fourth down, Nemaha Central, and they change up uh, to their punt team. Early indications. I like this Bulldog defense. Marysville, three and six last year, had some really difficult games, some really difficult games on the road, lost really badly to Wamigo, lost really badly to Clay Center, um, but showing up here against a great Nemo Central team. Bad snap over the head. And Nemo Central's just going to lay on it at the 35 yard line. Marysville's going to take over first and 10 inside Nemo Central's territory again. Yeah, that was a bad snap and some middle mistakes for the home team. Clearly the favorite tonight. They're ranked number one in 2A, obviously on the strength of their past two seasons and a 26-game streak. But here tonight, this Marysville team early on has come out to play. Second possession, second time they start in the purple. First and 10 Bulldogs. Once again, they're going to move slowly up 8-0 to zero over Nima Central. Marysville Bulldogs on the road in white. 4.07 to go in the first quarter. Willow Todd under center. Passes. Intercepted. Nemaha Central. That's Caleb Strothman. He's running up the edge. Brought down by Willow Todd at the 45 yard line of Nemaha Central. First down, Nemaha. Yeah, I don't see sizes listed, but Caleb's in there right at six foot, pushing six foot with a long reach. And he jumped in ahead of the intended receiver. He was in the right place, and he was bound to determine to get the ball back. Yeah, he jumped up about 11 feet there to get that interception. He knew he was coming down with the ball, wanted it back, wanted his offense back on the field, and he got it. Will Otot, we mentioned earlier, doesn't throw it a whole lot. I liked the play call. I liked the pass. Uh, we just need the offensive receiver to become a defender in that situation. Instead, he ran right past the defender, Caleb Strothman. 
shotgun snap, and Carter Hike is in the backfield, throws the ball away. Incomplete pass, second and 10 coming up for Nemaha Central. Yeah, to a reserve on the near sideline. They've got a lot of purple over here. He sure tried. He reached this hit and a half feet in the air, but couldn't bring it down. No, it was thrown out of bounds. Uh, Central opening their third possession here tonight, midfield. Now that, I believe, was a designed run play. Would you agree, Bruce? Maybe a designed run. It sure looked like it. I believe there were linemen downfield when Carter Hike past that ball. It should have been a flag and a penalty, but either way, second and 10 is good here for Marysville. They may have declined it anyway. Watch the long look to the near sideline. Third year coach, no, fourth year coach now, uh, uh, Michael Glotzik, and I'm going to call him Larry because I knew Michael when he was a, a student under Larry Glotzik at Centralia. That was his dad. Here's your second down and 10 play. It's a handoff up the middle. It's going to go for a decent amount of yards here, at least five. Yeah, a nice uh, scamper just across the midfield stripe. Going to set a little momentum. Nemo Hall Central right now needs to calm down, need to take control of the football and the football game. They're down by a score. It's an early 8 nothing Marysville lead, but it's early on yet here tonight. Third and three now for Nemo Hall Central. They look over to their sideline, getting their plays, looking at their wristbands, Pretty common across all the high school football these days. And here's your third down and three play. Carter Hike in shotgun. He's going to keep it. It's hit in the backfield, but squeezes by and turns what should have been a loss into a three-yard gain. Pushed off one, two, three Bulldog defenders before they were able to make the stop. All in good position. They slowed his momentum. And with Hike, sometimes that's a win in itself. Yeah, I saw, uh, let's see here, maybe Keegan Warders, Dakota Slupionic were all right there on that edge. It was ran toward the Marysville sideline. First down and 10, Nemaha Central in Marysville territory. Here's your snap, quick pitch. Pretty good run. He just bulldozes up for five-yard gain. That's number four, Sam Nordis. Sam Nordis, a senior, brings some experience to this uh, team this year. Uh, got a nice uh, little effort there. And keeping the central drive alive. Second and five after the five-yard game. Kind of reminded me I'm supposed to watch defense. Where's JB when I need him? Right. Here's your shotgun snap. Drops back to pass. Throws it downfield. Ball's up in the air. Well defended. Used to be what we call face guarding, but that's no longer a penalty. Number seven, Eli Sologic breaking up the pass. Pass was intended to Caleb Strothman. Almost connected. Strothman was, was in full stride and stayed toe-to-toe with his defender. Uh, both were right there, tight rope in the sideline on the near side as the pass came in just a little bit strong. Yeah, good job there by Eli Sologic playing within the rules to get his arm in there. Shaking his neck a little bit. It, it must have went down hard. But third and five in Marysville territory. Down eight are Nemaha Central to the Marysville Bulldogs who are on the road. Man in motion is Strothman, quarterback keeper. Hit in the backfield again, but he's going to fall forward near a first down. Yeah, really, really close. It'll depend on the spot. I don't think he was quite there. He pulls just inside the 35. He needed closer to the 34. No, he didn't. He didn't. They gave him a good spot. He got an easy first down when it was all said and done. Yeah, pretty friendly spot. I saw Schaefer had a hold of his jersey in the backfield, but couldn't quite bring him down. Carter Hike running again. Gets hit in the backfield by Wetter. Makes him miss. A slew of Bulldogs bring him down, but it was after a six-yard game. Team effort on defense all night long. First man's not going to bring him down often. Second one. Not that often. It'll be the third and fourth defender out there that finally makes the stop. Cameron Wetter slowed him down. Second and four coming up. Pike under center gets hit in the backfield again. Squeezes through and gets another first down. That was again Ashton Schaefer hitting him in the backfield. Five-yard pickup there. They're, they're chewing up some ground right now. Chewing some time off the clock. We're near the end of the first quarter already. 8 nothing Marysville. Yeah, I, I doubt Nemaha Central's had a whole lot of first quarters where they haven't scored. Uh, they they easily handed their, handled their schedule last year. 
Oh, we got a false start on Nima Central. Yeah, that'll be a second penalty against Central here tonight. Worst flag we've seen overall. It's the first game of the season. Yeah, pretty common. I remember my playing days. The first night was all about delay a game, and man, that sure makes the dads in the in the stands upset. That was not the issue there, but this inexperienced offensive line jumped too early. Maybe gives the Marysville defense a little bit of a breather. They're getting a, quite a workout. Not a bad night out here, but it's early in the season, so conditioning starts to come in play even here in the first quarter. Perfect night for high school football. First and 15. Quick pitch. Our direction. He's going only going to get one or two yards. Sam Nordis, he's a senior coming to the near side. Again, good read by the defense. Going to be close to the last play of the quarter. We're rolling under 20 seconds. I don't know if they'll try to push it or not. They're hustling, trying to get up there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. There is going to be a snap. Nope. They're going to bring it to the sideline. First quarter is going to end. Marysville Bulldogs on top of Nemaha Central, 8-0. to zero. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with you. After the storm, Chromie Lumber has everything you need to build it back. If the roof needs repair, build it back with quality singles, including hail and wind resistant styles, as well as metal roofing options. Let them help guide your best decision as to what's right for your home. Storms or not, is it time to update your home's windows and doors? Chromie Lumber can get a free estimate with whatever fits your needs. Increase energy efficiency, improve the looks, and make cleaning them easier. Glass and screen repair always available as well. Chromie Lumber has everything you need to build it back. Shop local. Shop Chromie Lumber. Marysville and Washington. If you're a driver over 50, it may be time to switch your auto insurance. The AARP Auto Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Call today for your free, no obligation quote. Learn more about special rates, benefits, and service designed especially for AARP members. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Certain policy features are subject to eligibility and may not be available in all states. Hartford Fire Insurance Company. Hartford, Connecticut. Welcome back to Nemaha Central, where the Marysville Bulldogs are on top, eight to zero. Central fumble, or no, yeah, fumble on the second play from scrimmage gave Marysville excellent field position at the Thunder thirty. Scored with just under seven minutes to play in the first. Will Otop two yard carry, two point pass from Otop to Grant Hayfley. That's where we stand, eight nothing. Marysville at Nemaha Central in the season opener. Nemo Central with tons of unforced errors. Uh, they're gonna, they're not going to have a good time at film on Sunday. Second and 14 for the Thunder in Marysville territory. Start of the second quarter. Thunder trying to answer the 8-0 to zero deficit. It's going to be a pass. Carter Hike throws it downfield to a wide open man. Unfortunately, he falls to the ground when he catches it. Only going to get four yards. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. He went in the middle there, but doesn't gain... I won't say nothing. It's going to be only a yard. Just a tough break there on a complete pass. Leighton Thomas, a junior, on the reception. Third and nearly 10 here. They're at the 20-yard line, are the Nemaha Central Thunder, uh, trying to get to, at the 20, trying to get to the 10. Leighton Thomas, dad, John Thomas, longtime basketball coach here. Here's your third down play. Rolling out, it's going to be another pass. Caught. He falls down short of the line of the game. He's going to be fourth down. Yeah, similar situation. Nice pass to Jaden Seitz. The junior, though, tumbles right there, so it's not a big pickup. They're getting a short gain here, short gain there. It'll bring up fourth and five. Huge fourth down for the Bulldogs' defense. Huge fourth down for the Nemaha Central Thunder offense. They're down 8-0. to zero. Marysville gets a stop, and... We Marysville really going to be in the driver's seat. Thunder able to get a convert a first down or score here, and it's going to be right back to where this game started. They're making those receivers nervous. Carter Hike in shotgun. A penalty again. Uh, no, timeout. Nemaha Central. We're going to take it alongside with them. We'll take a quick break and be right back. As summer temperatures heat up, so are opportunities at Landall Company. Landall and Marysville offer stable employment with advancement opportunities, annual raises, 4% attendance bonus, 
$2 per hour shift differential, competitive wages, and benefits that include profit sharing, fuel allowance to drive to work, comprehensive insurance with a $500 deductible and more. Learn more and apply online at landall.com today. EEO Vets and Disabilities welcome. Learn more at landall.com. RX Drugstore in Marysville is ready to meet your prescription needs with prompt and convenient service. Refills are easy. Order by phone, on the web, or through their mobile app. Can't make it in to pick up your prescription? No problem. Free in-town delivery is offered in Marysville, Frankfurt, and Beatty. Your local Health Mart pharmacy provides prescription, over-the-counter, and durable medical equipment services for all your health care needs. Thank you for choosing RX Drugstore as your pharmacy. Stop in and visit them today. Welcome back to Nemaha Central here. It's fourth down and five. The snap goes back to Carter Height. He rolls out our direction, looking to maybe run, decides to pass at the last second, throws it incomplete, incomplete pass. Turnover on down for Nemaha Central Thunder. Marysville Bulldogs take over, first and ten. Kevin Schmidt's junior reserve out there, just a little bit out of bounds. And here's Marysville with an 8 nothing lead. Early second quarter, 10-25 to play. Bulldogs take over. On a fumble early in the ball game, they score with just under seven minutes to play, and they're holding that lead. Three possessions for Nemaha Central Thunder and zero points to speak of. Bulldogs, man in motion. They're going to have a false start. Back them up five yards to the 10, first and 15. Not quite the field position Marysville's had earlier on the possessions, uh, but not bad. Uh, the penalty sure doesn't help. It's their third here tonight. I've watched this Marysville team last year. I watched them put a 10-minute drive together, just chunking yard, a few yards here, a few yards here, a few yards here. They're capable of it again. If they can head into the to halftime up two scores on Nemaha Central Thunder, that's going to be a huge accomplishment in itself and be in great position to win this game. Here's your first and 15 play. It's going to be Will Otot getting eaten up in the backfield. Yeah, he was. I didn't catch the uh, tackler there, but he made a big, big statement out there. He smothered senior Will Otot, spun into the turf, and the locals like it. I'm pretty sure it was Carter Hike. I'm not positive, but it uh, it might have been Carter Hike in there on the tackle. I don't know what number you had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Second and 17 for Marysville inside their own eight-yard line. Man in motion. I can't tell who even has the ball, but I think Will Osai kept it, and I think he moved backward again. Yeah, he, he put motion out there to Hayfley, but uh, he just kind of got stuck with the football, if we will, and, and the defense for Central started to read that. Third and 18. Moving the wrong direction are the Bulldogs, but they do have the 8-0 to zero lead. Yeah, you just like to get a little confidence on this right now. The offense is sputtering. Like I said, this is the first time this deep in the field that they've had the football. But after the defense had, uh, had done such a stellar job, you'd like to see some offensive stars lighten up as well. Here's your third down play. Will Otot under center. Man in motion is wetter. It's a pitch to him. Guy in the backfield brings him down. All the way down, back to the one-yard line. Marysville has moved backwards on all of their plays. Yeah, they are lucky that that's still in the field of play and not in the end zone. I mean, they are lucky. The punt team's going to come out. They are not going to have much room to operate. It's going to be a short field for Nemaha Central, no matter how you look at it. Alex Shale, the punter. Counting to make sure he's got all of his men out here, and he does. Doesn't look like Central's bringing the heat, and they're not. They're not rushing any. They're going to just let him punt it. It's going to be caught at the 35-yard line, but Strassman doesn't make any miss, anyone miss. Caleb Strassman gets brought down right where he catches it. Yeah, Caleb Strassman right there all alone. Uh, Marysville very lucky to get off a decent punt. Not a win factor here tonight. Went high in the air, high in the lights. Drops into the uh, arms of Caleb Strothman, but he doesn't have a strong return, so Central's going to fight from the Bulldog 31-yard line here with 8.14 to play in the half. Marysville leading 8 nothing. 
really surprised that Nemaha Central didn't send a little more pressure there. It wasn't the full punt snap that usually uh, any team would want, so it was a little shortened. Uh, but Marysville, like Bruce said, fortunate to get that away. First and 10, Nemaha Central in Bulldog territory again, but this will be their fourth possession. Carter Hike rolling. Decides, oh, fake passes late. And just when you think he's going to be brought down four or five times, he runs for 12 yards. One, two, three defenders. He's off him like a pinball. Fourth defender brings him down finally at the 20, right at the first down marker. Carter Hike is not a not a giant person, not super heavy. Uh, I've watched him throw. He's okay at throwing the ball, but he's not uh, going to light you up. He isn't, doesn't seem to be one of the fastest guys, but he is super elus- el- elusive. He cannot be brought down. Marysville's been trying it all night, and he just keeps escaping. He's going to keep it here. And just as I say he can't be brought down, well, five white shirts get in the backfield and bring him down for a five-yard loss. Well, when you stand for 15 minutes, they're going to corral you. And that was the situation. I'm not sure what he was waiting for, but it gave the defense time to collapse. And that was just a big, big statement for the Bulldog D. Yeah, second down and long coming up after that. The offensive line for Nemaha Central got beat at all positions on that play. Second down. Lock continues to tick. We're down to seven minutes and a half. Bulldogs up 8-0. to zero. Man in motion. They're going to give. He's going to be brought down in the backfield himself. That's number five, Jaden Seitz. Yeah, Jaden Seitz uh, got the give, but the Bulldog defense was right there at the handoff. Couple of good stops. Pushes them back a little further yet. Just like Marysville went negative on all plays, now Nemo Central's copying. Third and 18 for the Thunder. They need to get all the way down to the Marysville 10 for a first down. Great night for high school football. Glad to have you with us. Opposite our broadcast, another Trimble. Cody Trimble, <laughs> coaching Valley Heights, hosting Centralia. Max Blasky, Quentin Blasky, have it live on FM, not a 5-5 tonight. We got an early whistle here. Flag in the backfield. Looks like delay a game, and it is. And I called it earlier. Those first night, everything's a little slower. Coaches aren't up to speed, uh, and and it leads to delay game penalties, and there it was. So now it's third and 23. Carter Heich had to go down to a knee to get it. Being elusive as ever, throws it to the middle of the field, but the pass is way short. Incomplete fourth and forever. Yeah, he felt a lot of pressure. He rolled all the way back to midfield and uh, was forced to pass a little bit underthrown then for his receiver who couldn't uh, couldn't save it. The way Nemo Central's defense has been playing, I would consider leaving the offense on the field, although it's 4-23. It's kind of in that no-man's land. If they punt it and it goes into the end zone, it's, they're only going to gain 13 yards. If they throw an interception, it's going to be essentially a punt. If they fail to gain any yards, it Marysville takes over at the 35. Carter Hike drops back to pass, throws downfield. He's got an open man, catches it short of the first down. So it's going to be a turnover on downs, but that's going to be better effect than a punt. Wow, what a pass. And we saw a great passing arm from Hayek finding Jaden Seitz downfield. Almost turned that thing into a, a big situation where Central could have capitalized. But as it is, turn it over. Bulldogs fourth possession. First down Marysville with the lead eight to zero. Six minutes exactly to go in the second quarter. I never looking at this game for the last several weeks, I never would have expected Marysville to be on top of Nima Central Thunder eight to zero nearing the end of halftime. Twenty six straight, two time defending two A champ. Marysville's a three A school. Here's your first down play. Will Otot under center. Man in motion. Will's got No, Will handed it off. He fools me every time. Dakota Slupionic's going to get three or four yards, which is exactly what Marysville needs to do every play. Yeah, if you can grind out the short yardage situations here, start to work some time off the clock, keep the lead, keep the momentum in your favor, keep the ball in your possession. Donnie Butler, I call him out on it every year, and I have for the almost 10 years that I've been doing this. 
Donnie wanted us to get three yards every play because that keeps the ball away from the other team and you win the game every time. Will Otot, our direction, still man in motion. He pitches it late. The ball hits the ground. You hate to see a late pitch. Either way, Marysville's going to jump back on the ball. I'm trying to see who it is. Number six, it is Keegan Waters jumps on it. First down, Marysville. Yeah, they're very, very lucky to still have it. Had Otot kept going, he had yards to gain. Uh, he kind of looked to his side. I don't know if he had his blinders on, but uh, not a real good pitch, and it bounces off his off his teammate. Lucky, lucky to have possession, the first down. You're exactly right. First and 10, Marysville. Will Otot under center. He keeps it. He maybe got a yard. Maybe not. Talked a lot about high. Uh, Will Otot's another one you're going to hear sports circles all across Kansas. Perhaps best known for his basketball prowess, but he's an all-around athlete. Uh, he's a strong man on the field. Uh, he's, he's done a lot in his career at MHS. Yeah, really fortunate to have Will doing a great job tonight running this offense. Second and nine here for the Bulldogs, deep in their own territory on their own 25-yard line. Here's your snap, man in motion. It's Will. It's the exact same play. He's going to fall forward for three this time. Yeah, tried to turn, spun a 360 there into the defense. Didn't gain a lot. Third and six. Not four down territory, so if Marysville does not get these six yards, you would think they'd send that punt team right out. Uh, four minutes to go until halftime, and it's eight to zero, Bulldogs. They're watching that clock. They're watching that clock. They want to work off whatever they can. If you do give the ball up, you don't want to allow a lot of time for Central to take an advantage. Uh, you want to continue the possession and work it to halftime as your ultimate goal. And we got a late timeout for Marysville. We're going to take it right alongside them. We'll be right back. Marysville on top, 8-0. to To be successful in agriculture today, you need to have all your ducks in a row. We can help you do that. Our ag lenders know their business, and they're local. They can work with you to establish the loans and lines of credit you need to get the job done. Because we make our decisions locally, we give quick service on loans. Stop by, see us, and get all your ducks in a row. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Take the worry out of ordering and refilling your propane tanks with Kramer Oil. Great people to work with. Their family has been serving your family since 1976. Customize your account with delivery and automatic refill, prepaid discount, or level billing options available. Hard work, integrity, and dedication to the community are hallmarks that Kramer Oil lives by and promise to deliver for you. Join the family today with a phone call to Kramer Oil in Marysville. Find them online at KramerOil.com. Welcome back to Nemaha Central, where the Thunder trail the Marysville Bulldogs 8-0, to 3.40 to go until halftime. Third and six, Marysville does a, full, a fullback dive to Dakota Slupionic. Four-yard gain, which will make it fourth and two. Yeah, we commented uh, during timeout, uh, maybe didn't expect a, uh, a well-contested a game. I don't know. It's hard to say what you're going to expect going into the first game of the season. Everybody's coming in with that uh, perfect record so far, but there's always the early season jitters. It comes down to a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, mistakes or lack of the same. Marysville under center. They act like they're going to run a play, but do not. Marysville takes a timeout. We're going to grab a quick one right along with them. We'll be right back. When starting any project around your home, you want prices that are reasonable and advice you can trust. From finding the right lighting fixture or plumbing piece to drawing up plans for a full remodel or new build, the knowledgeable staff at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axle Lumber are here for you. Stop in Monday through Saturday or visit AxleLumber.com to see what they can offer. With all your building needs and options to fix any budget, your partner from start to finish is Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axle Lumber. All right, welcome back to Nemaha Central Thunder. Once again, Marysville Bulldogs on top, 8-0, to 3-0-2 to go until halftime. Marysville with a fourth and two in their own territory. I would think it's punt area, but 
uh, Coach Trimble's really confident his offense can get two yards because out they come for a huge play. Will Otak gets under center. Man in motion. Fakes the dive. Will Otak mans his way up through, jumps sideways for enough for a first down. First down, Bulldogs. Inside, three minutes to go until halftime with a touchdown lead. Yeah, that's a gamble, and that gamble paid off. Used a second timeout, two back-to-back. Tony Trimble said, you can do it. And Will Otot, he proved it. At the pace that Marysville's going, I don't think they have any intentions of scoring here. They just want to keep the ball out of Nemo Central's hands. Fullback dive, Dakota Slupionic. The ball might have come out. And we do have an official saying... Nemaha Central football, and number four, Sam Nordis comes out of the pile with the football. Turnover, Slupionic, and that's exactly what Marysville didn't want to happen. Yeah, fumble recovery, Bulldog territory still gives them quite a bit of time to work with. Here we had talked about a, a clock that was ticking fast. All of a sudden now becomes an enemy for the red and black. Thunder, two timeouts remaining, two and a half minutes. First and 10 at the Marysville 42. Marysville's defense has been excellent tonight, and that's probably an understatement. Carter Height gets the snap in, in shotgun, flips the ball for a big gain. That's number four, Sam Nordis. Sam Nordis is going to be just shy of the line to gain, eight or nine. Time to just right. You're seeing a will to win here for these, these kids. Height to Nordis. Big gain on first down. I love the flip to Nordis there. Uh, Sam Nordis was the one who came out of the pile with the football, so he's the one that took it. He's a senior. He does not want to lose his first game in maybe ever. Uh, quick pass here. It's caught to Caleb Strothman. Strothman was responsible for a fumble earlier. First down, Nemo Central. Yeah, that's going to be right at nine, almost ten yards. That's going to push it further down to the Bulldog 25. Got to watch the clock now. Buck 50 left on the clock. And it is ticking. Bulldogs on top. 8-0. Minute 45. Carter Height gets the snap. He rolls out this way. He's looking downfield. Gets outside of the pocket. He's going to run. And he is literally tackled by his own man for a two-yard game. That was crazy. Marysville, again, had slowed him on the near side, but we know first second defenders are not bringing height down. He met his own defender helmet to helmet, pushed him over backward, and he tumbles for the two-yard gain. Tyler Ganstrom from Nima Central is going to be credited with a tackle of his quarterback. Second and eight. Minute remaining. Pass. Strothman's open. He catches. He, but he's brought down inbounds. He's going to be short of the line to gain. Timeout. Nemaha Central. We're going to keep it right here. Yeah, absolutely. A minute two remains. Um, Central, you know, very confidently out there working on this possession, but they just haven't been able to connect the dots tonight, have they? No, they really haven't been able to put it together. Marysville's defense has been a big part of that. We can't, we can't just blame the Nemaha Central Thunder. There's, there's a lot of credit to be given to these Bulldog defenders. And they're going to be called a task right now. You've got a third and two, third and two situation, but they're fairly deep in Bulldog territory down in the red zone. Got a chance with plenty of time left, just over a minute, plenty of time to score and even things up. A minute inside the 20 is, is really forever in a football game. However, this Marysville team and this Nima Central team do not move quickly. They always are looking to the sideline for their play. They don't just get under thunder and, or under the center and, and run a, a quick play. So a minute, the clock could become an issue still. Where's Hike been on the hop early on? It was uh, quarterback keepers uh, consistently. We haven't seen a lot uh, here as this game has worn on, especially this last uh, series. Yeah, Marysville with multiple spies. They're letting him throw the ball and just making it, respecting his run. He's going to run this way. He's going to bounce off multiple Marysville defenders and run into the end zone for a touchdown. Inside a minute, Carter Hike with a 17-yard touchdown run. Yeah, didn't need to hop on that one. He, uh, he found a route. He got some nice blocks up the middle, and he took advantage, found the seam, and that's where he, where he goes, straight up the middle to the end zone. Boom, Central's on the board. 
late first half. It was never a pass option. It was quarterback keeper all the way. Uh, Bruce had brought up earlier that uh, that Carter Hike has just been uh, a little too patient. Well, in this situation, he didn't wait. He just put his head down and ran, and he because of that, he was able to get into the end zone. Here's your snap for the two-point conversion. Carter rolls out, looking to pass late. Gets, it's just chucks one up late, and it's good. Eight to eight. Caught by Caleb Strothman, 8-8. Eight to eight. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hop in, let's go to Honeyman Ford in Seneca, the best place to be. Skip the drive. Come see us right here in Marysville, Kansas. At Honeyman Auto Sales and Service, you'll find the same honest sales experience backed by the same reliable service. With the same goals in mind, our Marysville location is sure to provide you with a satisfying vehicle experience. Find us on Facebook or stop in at 1122 Pony Express Highway today. Have you driven a Honeyman Ford? Lately. Welcome back to Nemaha Central, where the Marysville Bulldogs are on the road. They've led for all but a minute <laughs> of this game, but we head into half where, well, we saw 55 seconds, but a minute to go until halftime, and it's 8-8. Eight to eight. How about this? Uh, both scores. Each team scored once. Both scores came on uh, drives set up by fumble recoveries. Yep, turnovers, a big part of this. Marysville, I felt, had the momentum most of the first half. However, the last minute and a half, the momentum's been with the Nemaha Central Thunder. Marysville back to receive this kickoff. We've got Shoddy back there, I can see, and also Brody Lawrence. See who's going to kick for the Thunder. I believe that's number, is that number six, Carter, Carter Hike? I think it is. He does it all for the Nima Central. And here's your kickoff. It's a great kick. Caught at the 10, up to the 20. Brody Lawrence, right down at the 25. That's where Marysville will take over first and 10 with 50 seconds to go until halftime. Junior Brody Lawrence, a decent return, uh, not bad field position if you had a little more time to work with. We're all, we're all tied up. Jason Brenner loves to talk about field neutral position. This is right at it. When it's a touchback and you start at the 20, you're starting in negative position. If you get past the 30 to the 35 or 40, that's a positive position. We're starting here at the 25, that's right at that neutral position. I don't know if Marysville can move fast enough for, to score in 50 seconds, but we're about to find out. Will Lotot under center. Here's the first play. He keeps it. Gets past the first guy. Gets the edge, but it's run out of bounds after a 10-yard gain. Going to be near a first down. Yeah, really, really close. I'm not sure he's quite going to get the spot, but he's right at the uh, yard marker that he needed. Got it out of bounds to stop the clock. Early indications are it's going to be second down, but only five seconds used up for that five yard or for that ten yard game. The question you always ask is how serious are you about adding a go ahead touchdown? I think you really try to avoid the turnover. Absolutely, momentum is a huge factor in high school football, and Marysville's carried it most of the half. Nemo Central's got it right now. Need to find a way to flip it. Will Lotot option away going to be brought up, brought down in the backfield, and while I wasn't looking, they moved it to first down chains, and so it's going to bring up second and long. Yes, yeah, smothered for no gain at the 35, clocks in motion under a half minute. We'll take the tide of the locker room. Yeah, I doubt Marysville runs another play. They are in, they are back in the huddle. They hustle up to the line, but 14, 13, 12, Man in motion, Marysville does run another play. To dive up the middle. Dakota Slopionic with the run. He's going to get five yards. And that's going to take us to halftime. Halftime score, Marysville Bulldogs 8. Nemaha Central Thunder 8. We're going to take a quick break and then wrap up the first half. 
Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfort, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Crocked Family Insurance is here to help you find the right insurance products to protect what matters most to you. As an independent agency, they represent over 80 companies that allow options for the right products at the right cost. See Brian Crock today for home, auto, commercial coverage, and more. Call or stop by at 1119 Broadway, just west of the courthouse in Marysville. Find them online at crockfamilyinsurance.com. For complete coverage and a competitive quote, reach out to Crock Family Insurance in Marysville. Have you ever wondered what sets Sunflower Community Credit Union apart from the rest? It's the power of ownership. When you join Sunflower Community Credit Union, you're not just a customer. You're a member and an owner. Sunflower Community Credit Union is a member-owned, nonprofit financial institution that places our members' needs as our top priority. We're here to help you grow your savings, manage your finances, and achieve your dreams. Visit Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville, where ownership matters. Bruce the Air King, Brian Kroc from Seneca, just a short 30-mile jog down the road. It's been a while since uh, we've been here on the central field, or in my case, Thunder were the Raiders back when they played Nemaha Valley, the last meeting in 2013. Nemaha Valley, combined with B&B, became the Nemaha Central Thunder in 2014. Since then, Marysville and Nemaha Central have not met on the football field met in many a Thunder Classic basketball game in the gymnasium just adjacent to us. Dance team center field here at halftime. As these two teams are tied eight apiece in what has been a great first half in the season opener here tonight. Both teams obviously a little nervous coming in. There were some penalty flags, three each way in the first half. But nothing about it's anything as far as big action on the penalty side. It was turnovers that made the difference. As Nibahal Central fumbled on their second play from scrimmage, and the Bulldogs would take advantage with their first score just under seven minutes to play. It was Willow Toss from two yards out, converting a two-point pass to Grant Athley for an early 8 nothing lead with 6.59 to play. A stalemate then as the Marysville defense stood top consistently all night long. The offense sputtering at times. I would give up the football on a fumble, and Nemo Hall Central would score late in the half. A 17 yard score by quarterback Carter Hyatt. Carter Hyatt found Caleb Strothman on the two point conversion pass to tie the game eight apiece, and Marysville would take last possession to a tie score here at halftime tonight. So glad to have you along. Don't have the uh, statistician that always did such a tremendous job. I warned Brian Crock I would do my very best, but keeping track of the defense is not something I'm accustomed to. I'll work at it, and keeping track of statistics, I could work at it, but I probably won't change my ways after 40-plus years in the box. Brian Crock, appreciate uh, stepping back in this season. Bruce Deerking on the opposite side. We'll do home and away games for Marysville on KNDY, AM 1570, FM 94.1. Always online at kndyradio.com and always available on our free mobile app. You can now conveniently access either AM 1570, FM 94.1 or our sister station FM 95.5 on the same free mobile app available for Apple or Android devices. Opposite our broadcast, the Belaski boys have Tony Trimble's son, Cody Trimble, coaching Valley Heights, hosting Centralia. And there's the Centralia connection to Steve Hall Central coach. Michael Glotzik is a grad, former Panther himself, played for his dad, Larry Glotzik, down at Centralia. So, sorts of connections up here in northeast Kansas. Sports in Kansas was in the neighborhood yesterday. Uh, they did a presentation at Marysville High School, uh, did an on-field interview with Coach Tony Trimble, senior quarterback, Willow Tot. Came over to uh, Seneca here, visited with several of the Nemo Hall Central Thunder, also uh, head coach Michael Glotzik. That's Sports in Kansas. If you want to replay those, they're available on their sites. We also want to remind you, we visit with Tony Tremble each week on the Coach's Corner Friday evenings at around 
our coach's corner twice each evening following sports. And the Marysville show, usually close to 5.30 on Friday, is a great preview of our Friday night broadcast. No K-Preps pregame show this year. A little surprise to us, but no K-Preps pregame. Puts us on the air at 6.30 with our coach's corner roundup ahead of 6.45 pregame coverage. And we'll be back home, the home opener next week. Marysville hosting Hiawatha. As the Red Hawks come to town, we'll have the live coverage on air online and on our mobile app. Stay tuned. Or after the half, time out for news, weather, and sports on KNDY. ABC News, I'm Daria Albinger. Tonight in Georgia, the community of Winder gathering in a park to honor the victims of this week's shooting at Appalachia High. The 14-year-old suspect and his father, who was arrested for allegedly providing the teen with a weapon, will remain in custody. Their lawyers did not seek bail at their arraignment today. Sentencing in former President Trump's criminal hush money case has been pushed from September 18th to November 26th. Judge Juan Marchand, seeking to avoid any appeal Kieran said he's trying to affect the upcoming election. Earlier today, the former president appeared in another courtroom, hoping to appeal a defamation decision that found him liable for sexual abuse. Heading home. Separation confirmed. Starliner is now backing away from station and starting its return to Earth. The capsule undocked from the International Space Station on its way home, but without astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. This is ABC News. The IRS and says increased funding has allowed it to force wealthy tax dodgers to pay their share. The IRS says it's collected $1.3 billion from high wealth tax dodgers since last fall and is crediting spending that ramped up collection enforcement through President Biden's Signature Inflation Reduction Act. Visiting an IRS campus in Austin, Texas, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen saying that in 2019, the top 1% of wealthy Americans owed more than one fifth of all unpaid taxes leaving ordinary Americans to shoulder the burden. Dave Packer, ABC News. Republicans are calling for IRS funding to be cut. Progress in the gaming industry strike. Union workers began striking in July after negotiations with gaming giants came to a halt. Workers were concerned video game actors could be replicated by AI and used without compensation. The unions have announced tentative agreements with all 80 individual games. Daria Albinger, ABC News. Our daughter, Jessie, loves playing detective. But since we discovered she has sensitive skin, we've been playing detective, too. We thought the problem was our puppy. But it was actually our old detergent. So we switched to Tide Free and Gentle. Tide Free and Gentle has no dyes or perfumes, so it's gentle on her skin. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide Free and Gentle. This back-to-school season, Tide and Downey are giving back with $1.5 million in scholarships. Enter to win. No purchase necessary. U.S. slash DC 17 plus. End September 30th. Rules. Tide.com slash scholarship slash official rules. Welcome to Staples. Hi, I need to print for my business, but I really have to watch the budget. Staples can print whatever you need, and now you get up to 30% off print purchases. So the more you print, the more I save? Right. So if I print $600 worth of signs, you save 180 bucks. Ooh, and if I print a million dollars worth, I'd save... Uh, no clue, but I'm thinking there are a lot of zeros. Now at Staples, the more you print, the more you save. Up to 30% off. Plus, you save even more with hundreds of hot deals throughout the store. Ends 97 exclusions apply. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Here's your KNDY weatherology forecast for northeast Kansas and southeastern Nebraska. Lows of off around 51 tonight under partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the northeast around 5 miles per hour. Ample sunshine expected tomorrow. High temperatures reach up to 72. Clear skies tomorrow night. Lows dip down to about 52. Lots of sunshine and dry. Sunday and Monday, upper 70s. Sunday, mid 80s by Monday. I'm staff meteorologist Laura Lockwood. Right now, 66. High school football kicks off in Kansas Friday night and our Friday feature games. Marysville at Nemo Hall Central live on AM 1570 FM 94.1. Our Friday feature game Valley Heights hosting Centralia live on FM 95.5. High school action on air, online, and on our free mobile apps. In the Twin Valley League, along with Valley Heights hosting Centralia, Axtell kicks off at Lynn, Washington County's home to Blue Valley, Frankfurt at Clifton Clyde, Hanover at El Saline. Around the NCKL, along with Marysville at Nemo Hall Central, Abilene's at Clay Center, Rock Creek hosting Bishop Ward, Smith Center's at Chapman and Omega at Concordia. Tune at 6.30 for the TVL Roundup, ahead of 6.45. Pre-game coverage and 7 o'clock kickoffs tonight. 
College action Saturday, Kansas State pregame at 9 on AM 1570 FM.1. Kansas pregame at 5.30 on FM 95.5. Hey, this is Katie Jeter with KNDY Radio, and I sat down with the new Marysville Bulldog tennis coach. And the first question is, what is your name? I am Lana Pekarik. And where are you from? I am originally here from Marysville, Kansas. And have you ever coached before? Yes, I um, coached one year at Victoria High School when we lived in Hayes, Kansas, and I have previously coached here three years under Coach K as her assistant coach. And as a first-time head coach here in Marysville, what are your expectations this season? Um, I hope to live up to Coach K's standards, which is very, very high. She has built a big legacy here in Marysville, so I hope to just follow in her footsteps. And who is back on the team this year from last year? Um, we have two seniors uh, Grace Winkler, Aubrey Veering, and then we have juniors Kate Fries, Micaiah Urban, Ava Spicer. And do you have a good sized team this year? Yes, we had 13, so we have a lot of new girls because we lost a bunch of seniors last year. So I was excited to know that we had that many, and I hope in the future we can get even bigger team. And that was new Marysville Bulldog tennis head coach Lana Pekarik. And this has been Katie Jeter here on KNDY. You've depended on KNDY Radio to get all your local news, weather, and sports updates. Now you can depend on KNDYradio.com as well, where you can find everything you've heard, missed, and more. Let KNDY keep you informed when severe weather strikes. And listen to your area high school football and basketball broadcasts, even if you're miles away from home, with our Listen Live feature. You can also look to KNDYradio.com for school closings when the weather's rough. Make KNDYradio.com your number one source for everything local and so much more. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. I know it takes good hands to place the winning kick. This is Jack Bloomer, holder of the Big 12 champion Kansas State Wildcats. Inline Construction of Marysville specializes in concrete, commercial, and residential construction. Call them today at 785-562-5525 to plan and execute your building project. When you hire Inline, rest assured, you'll be in good hands from start to finish. They're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. Welcome back to Nemaha Central. Brian Crott and Bruce Deer King bringing you some Friday night lights. Marysville Bulldogs on the road at Nemaha Central Thunder. Of course, Nemaha Central Thunder the, were uh, the last two 2A state champions going 26-0 and in that time. Haven't lost a game since... A, the November 5th of 2021, I bet they were wearing COVID face masks back then. Uh, that was the last time they lost a football game. Well, tonight, it was all Marysville for most of this first half. There was a two-yard Will Ota touchdown with 6.59 to go in the first quarter, followed by a pass from Will Ota to Grant Hafley for two-point conversions. And it was 8-0, like I said, for most of the first half. But with 55 seconds to go before halftime, we had a run from Carter Hike, the uh, two-way player of the year. Carter Hike runs it in and then throws a pass to Caleb Strothman for a two-point conversion to make it 8-8. Eight to eight. 
Uh, the, both teams have retaken the field. They're going to probably reset for put and put a few minutes. So I'm going to pass you over to Bruce for some area scores. All right, we do have on this season kickoff for Kansas teams, Nebraska schools opened high school play last week. In the NCKL, a couple of head-to-head matchups. Clay Sutter Tigers lead the Abilene Cowboys 20 to nothing at the half. Clay Sutter leads Abilene. Wamigo leading Concordia into the first quarter last update. Wamigo 14, Concordia nothing. And here it's 8-8, Marysville tied at Nemo Hall Central in the NCKL. Other scores came out of the Twin Valley League in our broadcast feature, our Friday night feature on FM 95.5. Valley Heights hosting Centralia. They're tied 6-6. Max and Quentin Blasky with the call there. 6-6 tie at the half. Blue Valley leading Washington County 22-6. That was late in the first half. Blue Valley 22, Washington County 6. Uh, had a score. Frankfurt uh, versus Clifton Clyde. 4.17 to play in the half. Frankfurt 20, Clifton Clyde 16. Those off the TVL Sports Spotlight. Uh, of course, Jeff Wirtz, our partner on the TVL Sports Spotlight, uh, when she and Max Blasky get together and discuss Twin Valley League football on Wednesdays. We focus on area sports Thursdays. Katie Jeter catching up with the tennis coach tonight. We visit with golf, cross country, and a few of the other high school sports as well. Volleyball among those. The volleyball team hosted a meet last week. They're back in action this weekend. And it's a busy fall sports season. As we get the high school football campaign underway, it's at Homer Hanson Stadium for games two, three, and four. After tonight's road trip, Hiawatha comes to town a week from tonight. Omega's in on the 20th. And it's homecoming hosting Concordia on the 27th. Next on the road to Abilene on the 4th of October, then hosting Rock Creek, who joins the North Central Kansas League this year. Road trips to Chapman and Clay Center ahead of Week 9 is the campaign this year for these Marysville Bulldogs. Both teams eager to get started. We had that uh, three-minute warm-up period, and uh, they were pretty much out there after they hit the three minutes. They are both standing with still some time elapsing off the clock. No big hurry, I guess, to get the second half started. 8-8 eight, eight high. Glad to have you along and our KNDY Sports Booster Club members. All of our Sports Booster Club members back this year, plus Edward Jones, Heritage and Express, Marysville Dental, and the Marysville High School alumni. We welcome them. Certainly couldn't do all that we do. Not a lot of schools has full coverage home and away games. We do on air, online, and on our mobile app. Plus College Action tomorrow, 9 a.m. pregame, 11 a.m. kickoff for Kansas State on the road. It's right here on AM 1570, FM 94.1. Kansas is a 6 o'clock evening kickoff, 5.30 pregame on FM 95.5. They then scores and updates on the Farm Bureau Insurance Scoreboard Show later tonight and game nights twice each hour. Plus scores twice in the 7 a.m. hour on GNDY. Okay, Thunder took the ball in the first half, so Marysville will get the ball kicked off to them here to start the second half. Back to receive for Marysville. Number 10, Nate Shoddy. Number 4, Brody Warren. And here's your second half. Short kick. Fielded at the 15. Marysville failed to make any defenders miss. It's going to be first and 10. That's 25. Brody Lawrence on the return. Decent return. Nothing fancy. 10-yard return. Decent. Decent way to start the second half. So... Nemo Central's first possession of the first half was two plays and a fumble. Marysville capitalized by scoring. Marysville looking to get on the clock. They haven't scored since the seven-minute mark in the first quarter. Here's your first play from scrimmage. Bulldogs tied. Handoff inside to Slupiani. Bulldozes his way for a few yards. Will not be brought down. All 240 pounds standing up against three or four Thunder defenders. They stood him up, given three. He never did go down. Second and seven now. Marysville brings the play in from the sideline like old school. I love it. That's the way we did it. Far receiver. Lupionic in the backfield. Will Otot under center. Man in motion. It's 
going to be Slipionic again. This time they wrap him up at the ankles low and push him down high to no gain. Yeah, got the push, and he just tumbled like a wall of blocks. So third and seven now after no gain. Play being brought in by Brody Lawrence and maybe Grant Hayfley out there. Excuse me, that's Eli Sologic. Hayfley, a priority, yep, was already on the field. Here's your third and seven play. Tie ball game, ten and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Quarterback keeper spins all the way around. He's going to be short of the line to gain. It's going to be fourth and three. I don't believe Marys will have as a decision to make, but uh, and here come the punt, here comes the punt team. Yeah, it's early on second half. Uh, each team's going to see what uh, the conversation was at halftime, what they can bring the field to gain the momentum in the second half. Early on, you had a lot of a lot of time left. Like I said a few minutes ago, the last Nemo Central Thunder loss was back on November 5th of 2021. Fair caught by Nemaha Central. That's Strothman. He fair catches it at the 38-yard line of Nemaha Central, and that's where they will take over first and 10, first possession of the second half. Yeah, not a lot of time off the clock there, just a little over two minutes. Uh, tie ball game. Boy, you sure like to see that, though, in the season opener when you can have well-contested games. So often we'll see these early season scores, and they're lopsided. Uh, the fans have lost interest before halftime. Not the situation on a lot of scores we're seeing coming tonight. There was a lot of talk that that uh, would be the way this game would play out, was that it was maybe a little bit of a one-sided affair. I love the way the Marysville Bulldogs have responded to that and stepped up to the challenge. Carter Hike hands it off. Deep re- reverse. Can be brought down after a five-yard gain is Caleb Heenick. First time we called his name. Yeah, Caleb Heenick, he's a, he's a younger player, be a reserve. He's a sophomore, didn't get start here tonight. He sure made some noise on that one, though. We may be hearing more from Heenick. He has a great reverse play, and they pull him right out. <laughs> he comes to the sideline. I guarantee Coach Gladzik has a plan here of attack for the second half, and it may, may be a little unique to what we saw the first half. Carter Hike goes with the hard count. And they decide encroachment defense, three five yards, brings the ball to midfield and a first down for Nemo Central. Everybody watching the receivers, we were three on the uh, near side, one on the far side. Uh, the defenders were doing a little stutter step motion here and again, and I think that's what might have triggered the line. Yep, it, I know there's some emphasis at the higher levels to disallow that, and when I say higher lo- higher levels, I mean the NFL. You got to be careful with that motion, but. Here at the high school level, completely legal. It tricks Marysville. Marysville jumps off sides. First down, Nemaha Central, right at the 50-yard line. Carter Height gets the snap, rolls out for a pass. Throws it downfield, nearly intercepted. Oh, a flag comes in, and it's an absolute awful flag. Will Otot makes a great play on the ball. Yes, he did. Will Otot was right there, hands on the ball, but he couldn't keep a handle on the ball. Let's sort out the penalty flag. Early indication is pass interference on the defense. Yeah, they don't. White Hat's still waiting for it. Pass interference defense, that is the call. Uh, that's not a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. We'll leave it alone. Uh, could have been. Could have been. <laughs> That's Bruce's way of saying that was a missed call. First and 10, Nemaha Central after the gifted 15 yards, now at the Marysville 35. Man in motion gets the ball as Strothman off to the races, gets to the 30. Yeah, that's a five-yard pickup. We saw what great speed he can gain, and so quickly, first down run is going to net five yards. So second and five then for Nemaha Central. They move faster than Marysville, but not by much. Both teams are very slow. They know huddle, but they look to the sideline like most high school teams do and get the play and read their wristbands. Man in motion. 
Carter Hike's going to take it himself. Spins at the line of scrimmage and is brought down by a whole dog pound. Yeah, I like that. Uh, that was getting uh, past that first, but meeting the second defender who brought some help with him and a good bulldog tackle. We used to call that piece of the rock back in the day. Goal was for everybody to get in on that tackle, and I believe Marysville did it right there. Third and four. Well, that's the tough thing is uh, when when you wrap Carter Hike up and you think you're bringing him down for a loss, he gets one yard. When you think he's getting no gain, he gets three. Third and four. Carter Hike gets the snap. Quick pitches away. Running back is hit near the line of scrimmage. Falls forward. I believe he's going to be short. I believe that'll bring up fourth down. Sam Nordis. Sam Nordis was determined. He had a first down in mind. He won't quite make it. He's shy by just a yard. A yard has not been difficult for Nemaha Central to to accrue this game. Let's see how they do on this fourth and one. Marysville's defense is up to the challenge. There's your snap. Quarterback sneak. And he gets past the initial line of scrimmage all the way down to the 18-yard line. We all met up the middle. It was quite on purple as those jerseys go. And boom, out of there comes a lightning fast quarterback. Carter Hike with an eight-yard gain. First and 10, Nemaha Central moving right down the field. Carter Reich again, two-yard gain. Followed his defenders that time. That was your O-line. So just as I said, a no gain is two or three yards. Boom, there it is. Uh, defended, I thought, quite well. Uh, Carter Reich does a good job of following the one guy who won the battle at the line of scrimmage. Second and eight. Six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. High ball game. Quick pitch to Strothman, who's coming around the end. Marysville trying to get the edge. He gets sandwiched at the 11-yard line. Five-yard gain. Defense was really determined on that one. They let him have that extra yard or two, but wanted to avoid the first down. He's going to be about two and a half shy, maybe three yards shy of the first down. So third and three. Both teams have been plagued with turnovers and plagued with penalties. This drive, the uh, culprit was Marysville with a pass interference. Maybe a questionable one, but either way, it was a pass interference call. Third and three. Carter Hike under center, which is rare. It's the snap. There's a mesh play that gets blown up, and they just fall forward. It's going to be close to a first down, I believe, short. And that's not what they wanted. They left Hayek in a position where he didn't have any options but to hold the football, follow what he could from the purple offensive line, but it won't be enough. They're a yard shy of a first down. Fourth and goal, you know they're going to gamble. Yeah, fourth down in inches, I would say, inside the 10-yard line. There is a first down to be gained inside or before the goal line but just need a few inches. Last time they ran a shotgun quarterback sneak. See if that's what the call is, and it is. He's hitting the backfield. He spins out. He's going to be brought down for a loss. I don't think he made it. I don't think he made it. I saw him hesitate, and he tried to find a short seam to the left, but I'm not sure he found it. Let's sort it out. They're going to... They're going to bring out the chains. You don't see a whole lot of bringing out the chain game anymore. I believe that was a generous spot. I don't believe he got as far as down to the eight, which is what he needed. I believe he was more between that eight and a half or nine, but either way, that's where they spotted it. This chain is being brought out. If it goes past the nose of the football, it's going to be first and goal, Nemaha Central. Or, excuse me, if it goes past the nose of the football, it's going to be first down Marysville. If it doesn't, which it doesn't, it's not even close. So it was properly marked. First down Marysville, they stopped Nemaha Central. Well, it, it's so much different. We work from a vantage point uh, 30, 30 yards downfield and 35 feet in the air, and it looks very different. But that is exactly where you and I would have spotted that ball. It just looked a little different on the turf. Big, big stop. They were off five minutes off that clock, but net nothing. We're still tied eight apiece at 4.56 to play in the third. What a football game. If you're just tuning in, you, uh, you've missed an actual, an absolute dogfight. Marysville scored first in the 
in the first quarter with seven minutes to go. Nemaha Central didn't put their first points on the board until 55 seconds to go until halftime. We're still not at that 8-8. Eight, eight. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Quarterback keeper. He's going to get two yards. Now, early on tonight, we had some excellent field position result of a fumble in the second play from scrimmage. You start in central territory. Uh, a couple of times early on, I'll recall, recall excellent field position. There was, to my recollection, though, and my mind fades fast, to my recollection, a time where Marysville struggled this deep in their own territory. So can they make something of it? We'll see. Yeah, that was right before half. Uh, Marysville struggled to get out of the shadow of their goalpost. Um, let's see if they can do it this time. Uh, Bruce is exactly right. We ran a, Marysville ran a lot of plays inside em- enemy territory in the first quarter. Well, the second quarter and the third quarter hasn't been that way. We've been deep in our own. Quarterback option, our direction. Pitches to the 15, almost to the 20. It's going to be close to a first down. Yeah, I like that, Nate. Shoddy on the near side. He was determined coming to the 20, just enough for the first down. That's what you got to do. And I'm going to give credit where credit's due. That was a pretty friendly spot <laughs> for Nate Shoddy. Uh, I didn't think he quite made the 20, but they've got the ball. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Um, so first and 10, Marysville, big first down there. We just talked about the plague of the shadow of the goalpost. Well, we're outside of it now. Oh, Todd, under center. Man in motion. Hand off inside to Slopionic. He's going to get two. And the question I would ask, what looks different when you are deep in your own territory than if you were deep in their territory? Short pickup here. That's a great question, Bruce. That's a great question. You know, I think it's the idea of moving backwards and it costing you two points, whereas you smell the, as uh, Mitch Holtis would say, you smell that sweet nectar of the end of the end zone. Oh, and how close were we to give it up to earlier tonight? Out of the one yard line. Yeah. Cameron Wetter gets tackled at the one yard line on a play. Second and eight. I'm not sure if he kept it. He did not. It was, Dive up the middle, Dakota Slupionic gets one. Third and seven coming up. Nimal Central D is really starting to hone in on, on Otot, on Slupionic, the, the lead runners up the middle. Uh, again, a short pickup. Going to bring up third. Coach Trimble enjoys the boring look of the offense. This is the offense I ran. I'm all about it. This is the offense that really Holton ran through all their years of success. So there's nothing wrong. It is uh, maybe just not as exciting as a deep pass down the field. Third and seven. Man goes in motion and Marysville calls a timeout. We're going to take it right alongside them. It's Marysville 8, Nemaha Central 8. We'll be right back. At United Bank and Trust, we get it. Bank hours don't always fit into your schedule. With the United Bank and Trust mobile banking app, you can bank anytime, anywhere. At home, at work, or anywhere in between, you can perform convenient and secure transactions like mobile check deposit, transfer money between accounts, or see your balance instantly. Find it by searching for United Bank and Trust mobile app in your app store. Mobile banking with United Bank and Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. Welcome back to Nemaha Central over here in Seneca. Brian Crott and Bruce Deerking bringing you some Friday Night Light action. And are we bringing you a good one? It's Marysville 8, Nemaha Central 8. If you have Valley Sports, oh, actually, I think it's Apple TV tonight. Royals are up 2-0 to zero over the Twins. Ota back to pass. Throws it downfield. It's caught for a first down. Receiver is brought down hard, but after gaining the first down... Still trying to figure, oh, number four. I finally got a number on it. It is Brody Lawrence, 12-yard game. Yeah, that was a beauty of a pass. Bill Otot doesn't throw a lot. We talked about the run game. But Otot to Lawrence nailed it that time. He was right there for the first down. And that's what 
Coach Trimble's trying to do. He lulls you to sleep with the triple option, and then, boom, he drops back and throws a pass, and the D-backs were asleep. We've got coaches out on the field. Might be an injury. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take, take a quick spot. We'll be right back. At Alliance Insurance, we are all excited to announce our long-awaited move to our new location at 715 Broadway, previously Blue River Eye Care, which is located one door east of our old location. Just look for Dottie Rose. The same personalized service you expect at our new location back on Broadway. So from Tammy, Jen, and Diana, Alliance Insurance, please give us a call for all your insurance needs, 785-562-2393. And it looks like the in, injured uh, suspensive player there was Abram Kine. He's a senior, plays linebacker, and he's also the starting center. I believe he's returning. Uh, first and 10, Marysville. He's now off the field. He's got to sit out one play. Bulldogs uh, almost three minutes into this possession. Central Thunder had five minutes on their last possession. Ball control. Time of possession is a big one. Will Otot with the delayed run. He's up to the 40, the 50. He's up to the races. 30. One guy gets past him. Oh, he gets brought down at the 20, inside the 20, 15, maybe 10-yard line. Huge run of 60, 58, 60 yards. Yeah, I can't even add it. I can't even add it. There was a 32-yard line, so I guess to go the distance uh, would have been 58. Yeah, 68. So you do the math on the back side. We'll see exactly where they spot it. But a huge Willow Tot run. Bulldogs threaten again. Willow Tot already under center. Uh, I think he gave a dive. He did. It's a dive to Dakota Slopiana. Who's in for a touchdown? Touchdown, Marysville. Dakota Slopiana on the nine yard run. And what a drive that Marysville put together. First with the. Well, I don't even know what we decided. 59 or 58 yard run. Yeah, yeah. So 59 yard run for for Will Otot. And then he, right away, they hurried up to the line of scrimmage, got a quick snap off, gave it to Dakota Slupionic, and he ran it into to the end zone. Boy, that was the key. That was the key. Keeping the defense off their toes down there. They didn't have time to set up at all. That's exactly right. And we had just mentioned how the linebacker, uh, Abram Kine had to sit out a play where he just had to watch two. Man in motion. The pass. Will Otot throws it. We'll wait for the official. It's caught. Two-point conversion is good. That could be huge later, folks. Marysville, 16. Nemaha Central, 8. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. At Reflections, you will find a treasure trove of items and gifts backed by a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Shop your Hallmark Gold Crown Store for the biggest selection in greeting cards, Christmas ornaments, gift wrap, home decor, and gift ideas for all your celebration and personal needs. In addition, Reflections offers custom framing services and specialized black squirrel products along with your favorite K-State and KU fan gear. Shop Reflections in downtown Marysville today. There is a When it comes to financing your operation, you want to deal with someone who knows agriculture. Our loan officers are experienced in ag lending. Get your ag loans here. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. Here in Seneca, it's Brian Crott and Bruce Steerking bringing you the Nemaha Central Thunder versus Marysville football game. It was supposed to be Nemaha Central scoring a bunch of points and Marysville hoping to keep up. And that's just a couple people's narrative. However, well, the play on the field has been completely different. Marysville's defense refuses to allow anything, only allowed eight so far. Marysville's offense puts together a huge drive there from deep in their own territory and scores 16 to 8. Brody Lawrence catches the two point conversion. Here's your kickoff. Short. 
field it. Brought down at the 30, which is pretty close to where he initially caught it. Marysville's plan of keeping the ball out of Carter Hype's hands was great and worked. Yeah, just a five-yard return, a little over five-yard return, going to set up Central in their own territory here. Late in the third quarter, Middix 40, Marysville 16, Meemaw Central 8. Hometown fans are kind of quiet right now, aren't they? Yeah, they, they're not liking us being up here and yelling touchdown Marysville, but that's my job. So, <laughs> But it's been a decade. They might not have bought us back. Yeah, it's been 10 years since we've been here, and uh, we may not be here again. First and 10, Nima Central, down a touchdown. Quarterback keeper gets brought down, I think, in the backfield. Marysville's playing some really determined football. Number 56, Rhett Wurtenberger with a tackle for loss. And we like to mention those uh, defenders' names because they're earning their keep here tonight and then some. Get a big statement on their first play from scrimmage on this possession. You're taking them late in the ball game, still with a one-touchdown difference. Shout-out to Brock Bromey playing linebacker. I saw him in some plays. haven't called his name. It's a pass play. Carter Hike looking downfield, throws late, got a receiver. Really close to first down chains. He was really determined. He found Leighton Thomas, a junior on the near side, bought a ton of time, had a little bit of help, too, from his teammates. But uh, I found Thomas not quite enough, though, for the first. It's third and one. I liked Carter Hike's composure on that play. He rolled out. He was patient. He let things develop downfield, something you would see from, from uh, Patrick Mahomes with the patience and the letting things develop. That's not something that most high school kids have. Hike looks to the sideline like there might be a change of play. It's going to be a quarterback keeper. Oh, he makes the first guy miss. Gets to the secondary where he's brought down just past midfield. First down, Nemaha Central. A little bitty gain if your first defender could stop him, but you can't. So it's a 12-yard pickup. Brings the ball into Bulldog territory. I think Dakota Slupionic was on a stunt to blitz on that play, got into the backfield, made Carter Hike turn up field. If, if Slupionic could have got his hands on him, he'd have been brought down for loss, just like he was earlier. First and 10, though, Nima Central. Quarterback keeper. Makes the first guys miss always, and he's going to get five yards out of nothing. I call this bend, but don't break. And that might be kind of an odd statement when he's picking up 10, 12 yards, five, maybe six yards here. But with the likes of height, six and 12s are still bending. Yeah, his body's like Gumby. You, you tackle his legs, and the next second you know it, he slips out. Second and five. What am I dating myself? What's that? No. Oh, into the quarter. Well, we'll take it with him. Marysville heads into the fourth quarter on top. 16-8. We'll be right back after this break. As a business owner, you've worked hard to build your operation. Faced with constant challenges, we know how important it is when it comes to protecting the future of your company. Blue Valley Insurance offers a variety of plans to ensure you're properly covered from shielding you against financial loss to protecting your employees. With one comprehensive policy, you know you'll have the coverage you need when you need it. Contact Blue Valley Insurance with offices in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage Counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. Welcome back. Nemaha Central Thunder are the home team. They have the ball down a touchdown. Marysville Bulldogs on the road in white. A couple of halftime scores. Clay Center leading Abilene 20 to nothing. Uh, while they goes up 21 nothing over Concordia at the half. This first down play is going to be an end around to Jaden Seitz. He's going to be brought down at the Marysville 40-yard line. Gain of nine. Excuse me, that was second down play. Third and one coming up. 
Meanwhile, Central looks to the sideline, getting their play. I'm going to say it again. The Neon Central Thunder have not lost since November 5th of 2021. That was a playoff loss to Rossville. Two straight undefeated seasons as champions. Quarterback keeper. Hike's going to get the first down in a few yards more. Yeah, he got in there, found that seam. If he can find a seam, he'll take full advantage. Got the late dive for the extra pickup, too. Next snap's going to be inside 11 minutes to go in the game. Nemaha Central down eight. Marysville converting both of their two-point conversions. Nemaha Central converted their one try. For the red and black, you like you got the lead. You like you got the lead. That answer back, even with the dude, you're still tied up. The Marysville defense has been excellent tonight. Pass play. Carter Hikes got pressure. He escapes it, obviously. Gets past the 30-yard line where he's brought down. It's number 67, Ashton Schaefer, bringing him down, but it's going to be after a few-yard gain. And we've got Red Wurtenberger in the backfield, uh, nursing an ankle. We're going to take a quick timeout with him. Uh, Give me one spot. We'll be right back. Napa know-how. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories, plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price, plus Napa know-how. From your locally owned and locally operated Napa parts store in Marysville, Enans Automotive. Napa know-how. Coach Ben Wurtenberger comes out to get his son, Rhett. Rhett gets off the field on his own power. I swear Ben was Ben was trying to talk him into staying, but, but Rhett sure not moving very quickly. Second and five, Nima Central in Marysville ter- territory, down a touchdown. Quick pitch. He's got a running scene, but he's going to be brought down just shy of the 10-yard line. 16-yard game. Yeah, that was... Uh... That was a big boost for the central morale. And they got a big pickup. They drive it deep into Bulldog territory. That after, let me talk about Red Wernberger. He didn't really got off the field. We could have had 12-man whistle out there. I don't know. He slowed down as he went across. He got up okay. He had made a diving try to come after Hyde. Almost caught him. He was just not quite there. But uh, he's, he's a tough kid. Carter Hyde gets the... Gets the snap, does the quick, same quick pitch as last play. A flag comes in from the back judge really, really late. 95% of the time, that's a hold. We'll see what this one is, and it is. Holding against the Nima Central Thunder. It was first and 10 from the 10, maybe the 11, because it looks like there might have been a couple inches of first down to be gained. Instead, it's going to back them up. Yeah, does this take a little bit of wind out of their sails? Looks like Valley Heights is up 14 to 12 and a half. I'm not sure if Bruce read that one, but I'm adding it in. He probably did. <laughs> and it's a spot foul, holding is. And it looks like it was in the backfield. So this one comes quite a ways back. Clear back to about the 21 or 22 yard line. It's essentially first and goal. Here's the play. It's a pass. Hot. Number one, I don't think I've seen him. Mason Schuldenhans. Yeah, Mason Schuldenhans. That is the first time I know we've seen him here tonight. He's just a sophomore, but he was right there. Another nice uh, rifle to the target pass from Hyatt. Yeah, Carter Carter Hike is uh, not known for his passing ability. At times, doesn't look like a great thrower. And then at times like that, he steps back, three-step drop. He's super composed. And he just fires it right on target to where only his guy could catch it. Big gain. Second and goal from the 13. Essentially, second and goal from the 13. Quick pass out. Ball is caught. He's going to be short of the goal line. In right about the five, so give him eight yards. Look at a running quarterback developing into a passing quarterback over the course of a single game here tonight. Yeah, there's no one can take away Carter Hike's ability to run the ball. I think he ran for like 4,000 yards, and I'm, I'm making that up, that stat up, but I'm not way off. 
he ran for a country mile uh, last year every game. And uh, he's, tonight he's showing that he can throw the ball as well. Quick pitch. Races to the edge. Going to get a gain of a couple yards. That's Sam Nordis again. He's had a lot of calls here lately. He's one of the few seniors out on the field. It's going to be, is it, what is that, fourth and, yes, really fourth and essentially goal? It's going to look clear across the field to the, uh, to the markers on the far side. They may have to bring him across. It's that close. They are. They're bringing him across, which means he's down around the one. Bruce says it looks good. Let's see. I think he's short. He is very short. Almost a full yard. So fourth and one. Huge opportunity for Marysville's defense. Get a stop here and they'll nearly be able to run out the clock. Eight minutes to go in the ball game. And yes, I say run out the clock because that's how long it takes for Marysville's offense to, to operate. Marysville up 16 to 8. Fourth and one. There's a first down to be gained, but it is at the few inch yard line. There's your snap. It's a low snap. Carter Height gets it. I don't know. He did not get into the goal line. Or he, he did not score a touchdown, but whether or not they call first down or not will be up to the officials on the field. We are, I'm 60 yards away from that, uh, just from one side of the field to the other, plus 20 yards offset. And they're going to take a timeout for another measurement. Earlier, this exact same thing happened on the other side of the field, on the north end, this one on the south end. Last time, it was short turnover on downs. Either way, what a great stand by the defense. Carter Hike, one of the best runners in the league. He's going to be way short. I think he lost yardage based on that spot. It's first down Marysville. Eight minutes to go in the ballgame. Up a touchdown and a two-point conversion. First down Marysville. All right. That, uh, that, can, change, that can change the momentum. 8-13 to play. Still a lot of time. But Central doesn't answer back. Eight all ties to half is the 16-8 Marysville lead. And for a third time tonight, the Bulldogs start possession deep, deep in their own turf. And by deep, he means like inside the one-yard line. Uh, Mary, that's the new issue that Marysville has to avoid, is avoid putting two points up on the board for the other team. Central's going to load up the, the at nose guard. I would expect a quarterback sneak. I, I think so. It's a long way away from us, and there's 22 bodies between us and the football. But it's oh, they're going to give him a couple yards, so that actually worked out really well for Marysville. Second down and eight or even seven. They called it Otot. Uh, they wanted to see what the spotter saw because it was hard to read up the middle because a lot of bodies going in there. I assumed quarterback sneak, but I uh, didn't want to call it till we heard it. Thank you, Bruce, for getting that figured out. Like I said, that Based on the far marker, it almost looked like a three-yard game. Will Otot under center. The shadow of their own goalpost was an issue early on. but it, oh, He called timeout. He called timeout. So it was going to be delay a game, which really would only be a one- or two-yard penalty. Um, but instead, timeout. And talk about Marysville taking every second off that clock they can. Yeah, I was I was a little disturbed by the motion in the backfield. They were coming off that far side, and I thought that's what triggered the reaction of the officials. But no, it was it was CYA time. Yeah. So in the first half, Marysville saw themselves inside the five, inside the ten, a couple times. They were never able to get out of it. In fact, they moved backwards, if anything. Um, but here in the third quarter, or back in the third quarter, Marysville drove all the way down the field and kicked, capped it off with a. Touchdown right before the start of the fourth quarter. Well, here's where you have to avoid the mental mistakes. You don't want a miscue. You don't want somebody out of position. You don't want to give them an opportunity. That's a great reminder that there, that Nemaha Central's eight points that they have up on the board, we're, we're right off of a turnover. A fumble in Marysville territory by Marysville, Nemaha Central 
jumped on the ball, and that's how they scored their eight points. They have not been able to put together a huge drive that has ended in points. Nebaha Central, that is. Marysville, on their last possession, went 95-plus yards. Timeout is over. We kept it right here. Seven and a half minutes to go in this ball game. Marysville up 16-8 with the ball. A seven-minute drive is not anything Marysville is unfamiliar with. They could easily run this all the way down. Will Lotot on second and eight runs a quarterback sneak, and he gets a ton of yards all the way up to the 10-yard line. It's going to be close to a first down. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Again, offensive line plays a part, but he played it well. Finding room, making room up the middle, diving almost to a first down. Will Ocott had a really good recognition there on that last, on the play before this, the, the clock was about, or his play clock was about to expire. And instead of losing two yards and going from the four to the two, he decided to take a timeout. Now, Mary's only has one timeout left, but with only 6.50 to go in the game, they, that timeout's not as precious. Will Ocott under center, runs quarterback sneak, sneak for the third straight time. I think he's got first down. He does. Yeah, now they're in a position where they can breathe a little bit. Your back's against the wall earlier. Still fairly deep in your own territory. You don't want to take it for granted, but it gives you a few more options maybe. And take care of that football. Take care of that football. Well, it looks like I got all the way out to the 12, so gain a two on that last quarterback sneak. And I'll tell you what, the best play we've had in a while is Will Otot running up the middle. He ran one for 59 yards earlier and then 11 yards here on this possession. Will Otot again. It's just really late, which is dangerous, but it worked out very nicely. He gets out of bounds, which stops the clock. That's number two, Grant Hayfley. But we'll see where the spot is for the game. I think it's a first down. Yeah, found his man. Grant on the near side. That nice pitch. Well, uh, well designed, well executed. Yep. If you... Uh, if you remember Coach Warner football, triple option back in the day, that's exactly what that was. The footwork of the quarterback was identical. I know I used to do it. Uh, pullback dive was a fake. He pulled it, ran option out our way, pitched it as he was going down to the turf, gets it out to Hayfleet. Hayfleet runs for a first down. First and 10 with six minutes to go in the ballgame. Will Otop's going to wait patiently for that back judge to start counting down his plate clock. I saw a will to win when that team went to huddle there and brought the play in. I saw the will to win. 5.45 to go in the ballgame. Dive up the middle. Going to be a couple yards to sloop beyond. The entire intent of this drive is milking the clock. Yeah, probably not what you wanted there. You hoped for maybe a yard or two more, but anything is positive yardage and anything is clock in motion now. And protect the football. Second and eight. After Slupionic's two-yard gain, Marysville not going to be in any hurry. The ball will never be snapped before the back judge is counting down the last couple seconds of Marysville's play clock. They get up to the line. They look to the back. He holds his hand up. I believe that's 10 seconds. There's your snap. Will Otak keeps, goes off edge. Tries to get up to the 30-yard line. Needs to get to the 34. Just a couple. Just a couple. Set him up third and six. So, clock still taken away. The next snap's going to be inside four minutes and 30 seconds. And I remind you that Nemaha Central does not move the ball quickly either. However, they took over on the 40-yard line earlier, or right before halftime, with two and a half minutes to go, and they scored with 55 seconds. So when the need is there, they they are capable of striking quickly. Here's your third and sixth play. Ball might have come out or Will got stuck in the mess. Only gain a one or two. Yeah, that's not what they had in mind. I don't know exactly where the play should have gone, but that wasn't it. And sometimes on those mesh plays, when you read too long, the fullback thinks, oh, this is mine. I got I to gotta protect it and I got to go with it. Well, I think Will wanted to pull that one. Uh, but never got the opportunity. Next snap's going to be around 3.45 to go in the ballgame. Two-yard gains, three carries, brings up fourth and four. Emaw Central's going to have plenty of time, but only Oh, no, it's all three timeouts. Here's your kick, a booming kick. Hot at the 43-yard line of Nemaha Central. Nemaha Central will take over first and 10. 
There's no break for change of possession in high school football. So right away, out comes Mimaha Central's offense. And somehow they marked it at the 43, and then it goes up to the 45. That's interesting. Well, if you're Marysville, you'd like to have gotten one more conversion. One off another minute or two off that clock. 341 still a long, long time, but Central needs eight to tie. They need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. 16-8, Bulldogs on top. 341 to go. Nemaha Central with the ball. They're in their own territory. Carter Heights keeps the ball, and Marysville reads it perfectly. Tackle for loss. Loss of a yard. Wow. Hayek was so effective, especially early on tonight, but this defense continues to shine. 320. Nemaha Central not moving quickly, considering they still need to get 55 yards. Maybe they know they can strike that fast. 314. Pass. Deflected. Interception. Marysville football. Marysville football on the interception. Three minutes and ten seconds to go. Marysville takes over right at midfield. On a high tip, and I don't have the kids involved, they did it with precision. Tipping it to a teammate almost like a volley. Bulldogs back in the driver's seat with 310 left. What a start to the 2024 season. Okay, so so three kneels here would take would mean that last snap would be all the way down to one minute. All the way down to one minute. So Bulldogs, if they do nothing, are only going to leave Central with one minute. If they hit a first down, this game's over. Here's your snap. Slipionic up the gut, falls forward for a yard. Yeah, they went quickly. They tried to catch the defense off guard. They read it pretty well. Slipionic wasn't a big surprise up the middle and, and uh, sure could have used a little more there. But a yard's yard. And let's not forget Nemo Central. I just did just mention Nemo Central has three timeouts. They take one. We're going to take one real quick spot right along with them. We'll be right back. Double-digit pay raises are history. Now money's a lot harder to get a hold of and even harder to hang on to. That's why State Farm agent John Bannister would like to offer you a free discount double check. He'll go through your car insurance policy to make sure you're getting the discounts you deserve. Discounts may vary from state to state. See John Bannister, State Farm agent, 1022 Broadway in Marysville. Mimaha Central throws an interception. Marysville catches it right at midfield. Gain one yard on first down. Three minutes and six seconds to go in this ball game. It's Brian Crotton, Bruce Steerking bringing you Marysville football. Friday Night Lights at Mimaha Central Thunder. Three win season for this Marysville team. I think in anybody's estimated opinion, not what you hoped for. In the tough North Central Kansas League, in a tough district, but not what you hoped for. Coming off a three win season, you got a chance to start it right tonight. Second and nine, man in motion. Quarterback keeps and gets brought down in the backfield. Marysville goes backwards. Timeout. Nemo Central, we're going to take one spot here right with them. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Kick Afer and Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kick Afer, Kent Bussing, or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact Kick Afer and Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. Kick Afer and Bussing, where quality begins. Central. Third and 13 for the Bulldogs. Nima Central with just one timeout. Three minutes to go in the game. All right, what's your mindset for Marysville? Chance for what should be an upset. They were the underdogs coming in. Two-time, two-A state champions, mind you. Nima Hall Central, hey, they got to be playing scared right now. You score with two. You're tied. Yeah. Marysville up the touchdown and the two-point conversion. I told you that two-point conversion could be big. Cam Wetter around the end gets up past midfield. He's going to be brought down, unfortunately, uh, inbounds. And that will be the final timeout for Seneca. We're going to take one right along with him. We'll be right back. 
outstanding capacity, innovation, and the industry's highest density come together in a New Holland Roll Belt Round Baler, available from Can Equip in Marysville. Whether you make 4 by 5 foot, 4 by 6 foot, or 5 by 6 foot bales, there's a Roll Belt right for you. All models feature wide, durable pickups and smooth feeding systems for faster baling. Integrated precision solutions help you make smart baling decisions on the go. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville. Have you ever wondered what sets Sunflower Community Credit Union apart from the rest? It's the power of ownership. When you join Sunflower Community Credit Union, you're not just a customer. You're a member and an owner. Sunflower Community Credit Union is a member-owned, nonprofit financial institution that places our members' needs as our top priority. We're here to help you grow your savings, manage your finances, and achieve your dreams. Visit Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville, where ownership matters. Welcome back. It's fourth down and seven. Marysville's going to punch. Two minutes and 54 seconds to go. Nemaha Central out of timeouts. There's your punt. Hits the ground. That should be a block in the back. Hits the ground at the 20-yard line. It's going to be a block in the back by Nemaha Central. Just no reason to even do that. Uh, Marysville players still down on the ground. So that's going to be half the distance to the goal. A blue jersey, number one. Uh, holds his hands up. That's the international sign for I'm guilty. And so uh, I believe that means Nemo Central is going to have to go 90 yards in two minutes and 45 seconds with zero timeouts. Not sure who that was came off. Is that Brody? I, yeah, I won't, I won't call it. Yeah. I won't call it. He's okay. He took his helmet off. He jogged over to the sideline, but not what you would have expected there given the time situation, given the score, 246. No mental mistakes. Yeah, it was really one of those situations where had a blue jersey touched that ball, Marysville would have taken over and been able to kneel out the ball game. So it was really just dumb to even get a late block in there. Personal foul, chop block. On Nemaha Central, half the distance to the goal from the 20 to the 10. First down, Nemaha Central, so I called it correctly. 90 yards, Nemaha Central has to go. Down eight points, two minutes and 46 seconds, and zero timeouts. Yeah, this one's been a dandy here tonight, no doubt about it, going to the finish. Now, just to be clear, Carter Height can score in 10 seconds. So, still a lot of work left to be done for the Marysville's defense, who has play, who have played an amazing game tonight. Carter Hike rolls out, looking downfield, throws really late to Marysville. To Marysville intercepted again. He goes down at the 21-yard line. First down, Marysville. Keegan Waters with that interception. And now Marysville can kneel this out to win the game. As Carter Hike was rolling out to pass, I'm scratching my head. I'm saying, you've got a guy that early in this ball game consistently chewed yards, consistently gained first downs, and consistently has been a passing quarterback in this second half. And INT can sew this up for the red and black. Emaha Central with a ton of turnovers, four or five turnovers tonight. I'm going to remind you, I've said this 12 times tonight, the last Neemaha Central Thunder loss was on November 5th, 2021 to Rossville in the playoffs. Victory formation. Will Otot hits the ground, knees it. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Coming in, we'd say brand new season. Both teams saw their jamboree competition last week, but had little sense what to expect here tonight. It's been a decade in the making from a great rivalry. These two teams went three and three over a period from 2008 to 2013. Nemo Hall Central, I think, won the last three. Nemo Hall Valley at the time. Nemo Hall Valley Raiders. Here's your second down. Victory formation. Neal. It's going to take us down close to a minute. There may be a few seconds left that Marysville has to run around. Well, how good does it feel for a defense that kept you in the game all night? And then let's go back to a Willow Todd scamper. I think we decided 59 yards. Yes. Willow Todd didn't score that touchdown, but he made it happen. 
It was that second score to give Marysville the go-ahead. They had the early 8 nothing lead. Central answered back before the half. Marysville by 8 late. Here goes your next kneel. Willow Tot kneels it down. That kneel was at 109. So we've got to reset the ball. Next down is fourth down. So Marysville will probably take a delay a game here. And then they'll either drop back for a really, 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 really deep pass or punt. I'm not sure what the, how they'll handle fourth down. Overcoming penalties. Marysville had their share. Second half penalties have fallen on the opposition primarily. But overcoming penalties, just playing solid football all night tonight. Maybe some bumps and bruises out of this, but I don't think there's anything serious coming out of game one. We're down to just over a half minute with a final timeout on the field. We're going to take it alongside with them. 32 seconds to go. Marysville on top, 16-8 to eight over Nemaha Central. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Hop in, let's go to Honeyman Ford in Seneca, the best place to be. Skip the drive. Come see us right here in Marysville, Kansas at Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. You'll find the same honest sales experience backed by the same reliable service. With the same goals in mind, our Marysville location is sure to provide you with a satisfying vehicle experience. Find us on Facebook or stop in at 1122 Pony Express Highway today. Have you driven a Honeyman Ford? Lately. Fourth down and forever. Marysville's going to punt this. Fielded at the five-yard line. Hits the ground. Number 10, Caleb Strothman decides to field it off of a bounce, and he gets clobbered for doing so. Big, big stop. They are deep in Thunder territory. 25 seconds is all that's left. First down, Nima Central. A couple Hail Marys. There's your first pass, caught by Strothman. Brought down immediately at the 18-yard line, 19 seconds to go. Will Otot on the stop, plays both sides of the ball. Spike. I'm guessing it's a spike. Cooper Hike, no, it's not going to be a spike. Cooper Hike's going to run a play. The receiver he wanted decided not to run. Cooper Hike is not very smartly going to turn it up field. Six seconds to go. By the time they give this next snap off, this will be the last play. Yeah, he didn't have a lot of alternatives. Uh, there was good coverage out there in the secondary. Had to scram scamper. Three, two, a low snap took two extra seconds off the clock. Uh, a flag comes in late. I'm not sure what that would even be. But 2.8 seconds to go. Marysville on top, 16-8. to eight. Nemo Central still in their own territory. Set to dethrone the two-time 2A state champions. Needle Hall Central, what a start to the season. I know it's not what they expected. Hands on their hips. This has been a tough one to swallow. Making the call out there. It's going to be a whistle on the thunder. I swear he said intentional grounding, but I didn't even know that was such a thing when you're spiking the football. So that's going to move the ball back. 2.8 seconds to go, like I said. One last desperation effort. One last shot. Carter Hike gets the snap. Drops back. Marysville only rushes a couple. Throws it deep downfield. It's caught. But he's brought down immediately, and Marysville Bulldogs give Nima Central their first loss in three years. Sam Nordis on the reception. He's into Bulldog territory, but the whistle sounded half. Before the pass went off, Marysville dethrones Nemo Hall Central here tonight, and the Bulldogs are undefeated opening the 2024 campaign. Nemo Hall Central's last loss, November 5th, 2021. Their next loss tonight, September 6th, 2024. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll wrap this thing up. 
take the worry out of ordering and refilling your propane tanks with Kramer Oil. Great people to work with. Their family has been serving your family since 1976. Customize your account with delivery and automatic refill, prepaid discount, or level billing options available. Hard work, integrity, and dedication to the community are hallmarks that Kramer Oil lives by and promise to deliver for you. Join the family today with a phone call to Kramer Oil in Marysville. Find them online at KramerOil.com. Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family-owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Does your financial advisor take the time to really listen to you? And is your financial strategy personalized to you and your family? Hi, I'm Liz Warren, your Marysville Edward Jones financial advisor. When we work together, we'll use an established process to create a personalized financial strategy backed by the advice, tools, and resources to help you reach your goals. Contact me, Liz Warren, today at 785-562-5533. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Crocked Family Insurance is here to help you find the right insurance products to protect what matters most to you. As an independent agency, they represent over 80 companies that allow options for the right products at the right cost. See Brian Crock today for home, auto, commercial coverage, and more. Call or stop by at 1119 Broadway, just west of the courthouse in Marysville. Find them online at crockfamilyinsurance.com. For complete coverage and a competitive quote, reach out to Crock Family Insurance in Marysville. First Erking, Brian Crock, Katie Jeter, Mike Side, and on the board tonight. Had to overcome some rough starts of our own in uh, game one. Verizon didn't want to cooperate, but we made it. And what a shame it was. I'll call this one a turning point win here tonight for this Marysville football program. We've got a long way to go. We shall see. But back at home, they'll come in undefeated, hosting a Hiawatha team that hasn't had great success in recent years. Free game homestand. It'll end with Concordia on homecoming uh, three weeks out from tonight. But uh, if we talk about a turning point win, Marysville coming off a three-win season last year against the number one ranked team in Class 2A, two times. 2A state champion, 26 wins in a row. Michael Glotzik comes in 33-3 and in his tenure here at Seneca. And he goes 33-4 and out the door tonight. As an old rivalry is reinitiated, it's been a decade. But what a night for the red and black faithful with us here. And I know the Bulldog fans tuned in at home have got to be excited about a brand new season. And a stingy defense that played so well all night long. How many times did we mention stops on the outstanding athlete Carter Hyatt? Carter had some great runs early in the ball game, became more of a passing quarterback in the second half, but they did not score in the second half. Marysville offense kept the field at times, worked the clock. There were turnovers, there were penalties, there were a few mistakes, but enough to overcome. Marysville scores early on their first possession. Nemo Hall Central fumbles on their second play from scrimmage, and with 6.59 to play in the first, it's Willow Tot from two yards out on a keeper. Otot finds Grant Haefley on the two-yard conversion for an 8 nothing lead. That stayed until late in the first half when Carter Hyatt went 17 yards on their only score tonight. Found Caleb Strothman on a two-point conversion to pass to tie the game eight apiece, and that's where it stayed until late in the third quarter. With a minute 46 left in the third, it was Dakota Slupionic on a nine-yard touchdown. Note a 59-yard run for Willow Tot on the play previous to push it deep into central territory. 
two-point pass from Otak to Brody Lawrence and a 16-8 Marysville lead held till the end as Marysville wins the season opener in Omaha Central Falls, their first loss in 27 starts. Back at home, Homer Hanson Stadium, we'll try out a brand new renovated press box next week. We're really, really excited. Be delighted to have you along for the broadcast. Tune in your radio on air, online, on our mobile app. And if you can, get out to Homer Hanson Stadium, support these Bulldogs. Big time playmakers here tonight. 16-8 win at Nima Hall Central. Thanks to Katie Joe for keeping track of us back at the studios. Brian Crock on the call here tonight. I'm Bruce Dierking. Thanks to our KDY Sports Booster Club members. Have a great weekend, everybody.